Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night AEW Dynamite review. What the fuck was that show? Okay, seriously, what the fuck was that show? That was not. That is not a good show, and fuck, that was a terrible ending. Terrible ending. This is pay-per-view caliber, according to Kony Khan, and this sh this is this is not a good show. Okay, this is not good. Okay, this is not gonna. I had my friend over. My friend over. Uh, my friend came over a little bit, and we were like, "What the fuck is this?" Okay, we were like, "What the fuck is this?" And especially when we saw the ending, and then you see, first of all, this whole blackout, uh, uh, this whole blackout thing's going on. That only works if it's a guy who's like, I don't know, cool, people know or care about, people or people who actually have supernatural powers or whatever, guys like Undertaker and shit. How is this cool? And especially, it's a guy we don't fucking know, like holy fuck, some guy who legit people don't fucking know. And you end the show with that. And you had these boring, smarky matches. Oh, but they're good matches, they're very good. Yeah, I guess I'm sorry. I know you smarts that you guys like this whole work weight shit, but like, I'm sorry. This is not how you make. This is not what wrestling's supposed to be. This is literally just entertainment for mongoloid retarded smarts. This is why fucking wrestling is dying, because you're not fucking actually doing shit that actually makes sense, or people are legit gonna care, or that's gonna actually make casuals watch. This is just shit that. for people who are smarts. I'm sorry. It, it's fucking terrible. It's not a good show at all. Like. It's nonsensical booking. And so, really, my friend was confused when we were watching the fucking main event. First of all, we don't know who the, no one knows who the fuck this fuck, no one, okay, sure, they had him on Dynamite before. But come on, who the fuck is Mishore Suzuki? No one fucking knows or gives a fuck with this guy. It's not even part of AEW, okay? But, oh, him and Samoa Joe are in the main event for a title that's not even part of the fucking company, you dumb motherfucker. This is dumb. Ah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, these matches are boring, fucking, cool, fucking dumb, jizz fest, work rate crap. Which is fucking boring. I'm sorry, it's boring. I'm glad I missed, like, I missed, like, the first hour. Like, or, like, the first 45 minutes or whatever. And I'm glad I did. It's terrible. Like, I saw the results. It's like, come on here. What the fuck is going on with this shit? It's boring as fuck. Grab your Coca Cola, drink my spy, me some bitches, go, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. I don't know what to tell you, man. It just, it's... This is not what wrestling's supposed to be. This is not cool. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, let's talk about fucking... Yeah, let's talk about this dumb show. So the show started with CM Punk... Uh, defeating, so the first, you started with the first match, CM Punk defeating, um, what's that, yeah, Pentagon, they call him something else, for some reason, but yeah, like, there's no story, why, why was this happening, but you got Sparks, oh, you know, this match was pretty good, it was a very good match, how was it good, and it just made Punk, like, look, like, dumb, because he's, like, fucking getting beat up by this guy, like, this guy's supposed to be a main eventer, right? I don't know what the fuck to say. I don't know. I don't care. Second match. Jurassic Express defeats Red Dragon uh, to retain the AEW Tag Title. Shouldn't this at least been like the main event? Why was this the second match of the show? I don't know and I don't care. Uh, huh. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's, I didn't give a shit about the match. I don't give a shit about Red Dragon, these fucking boring, skinny, fucking vanilla midget fucks. So who cares? The Blackpool Combat Club versus the Gun Club is announced for... Uh, man, so many clubs. What the fuck? Why are they calling it clubs? Can you just fucking call yourself something other than club? Oh, the Blood Club. Like, shut up with this club shit. Holy fuck. And it's like, no one fucking cares. And yeah, uh, apparently we Utah's Utah's in fucking the, the stupid faction. Why? Who cares? <sighs> Shit. 
Sean Dean, whoever he is, defeated MJF by count after Warlow caused a, uh, MJF. Um, he chased him away, and or Warlow says that he will keep screwing over MJF and won't stop until MJ releases from his contract. Can he just say he quit? Like, I don't even know or care. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't care. Darby Allen challenges Andrade to a coffin match. Okay. Whatever. The Jericho Appreciation Society defeats Kingston, Santana, and Ortiz. This match was who the fuck cares, you know? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's the Wimpy Boys just beat the fucking wannabe tough guys, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't care. I really don't. It's not even, aside from, like, Jericho and Hager, like, who really cares? And, like, the few should just, and, like, really, like, what a joke, the fucking, the guys, like, what is it, Santana Ortiz and Eddie King's are, yo, we gonna beat you up, you know? We gonna be in front of your kids and shit, and they just, and, like, like just jobber, I don't fucking know. It's like, what a joke. But who cares, like, anyways, you know? Marina Shafir defeats Sky Blue. Not a fuck was given, ladies and gentlemen. Not a fuck was given. Uh, apparently during the match, fucking Jade Card goes on her phone. So she didn't care or whatever. If they really think they're going to think like, oh, she defeated Jade Cargill. They're like, who the f like, what a joke. Who cares, you know? Hook defeated Tony Nese, uh... Is made official next week for some reason, and who fucking cares? Uh, then, what is it? Hook basically throws the the fucking ball, like the medicine ball, in the back to the back, and then fucking take Hosh and touches, catches it, and hurts himself or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Some stupid shit. Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs defeats Keith Lee and Swerve Stickland. So Keith Lee just loses or whatever. I I don't care. I really don't care. This match doesn't intrigue me at all. I'm sorry. I'm just like, who the fuck cares, okay? It's just like, it's boring shit. No, like, oh, but this is very personal. I was a personal. No one knows or cares. This was a... What? So this was announced for Battle of the Belts 2. Yeah, this is announced for Battle of the Belts. Because apparently they're doing Battle of the Belts this sa this Saturday. Donna Rosa versus Nala Rose for the women's title. Scorpio Sky versus Sammy Guevara for the TNT title. And Jonathan Gresham versus Dalton Castle for the ROH World title. You're doing... Again, this is, this is why you won't grow. You're doing matches... For a title that's not part of your show. And it confuses people. I know. This is why you won't grow. And this is why wrestling is dumb. No one fucking gives a shit about ROH. Okay? No one cares. No one cares. If these guys are not stars. Let's be honest here. Every one of these wrestlers are not stars. Have no character. No charisma. Can't fucking wrestle. Oh, but they're. What are you talking about? They're, they only just do kicks and flips and crap. They don't do any fucking wrestling moves at all. And you guys can play about Brock Lesnar doing fucking. At least he's doing wrestling moves. This is not how you make stars. This is not how this is not how wrestling's gonna get better. This is why wrestling is fucking. This is why you get your shit rating. Why is a better show? Who cares about the ratings? Yeah, you guys are saying the ratings are good. Blah blah blah. And then the rating. This is why you won't grow. No one gives a shit. This is dumb. God damn it. Uh, that, what's announced for Dynamite? Tony Khan will have another announcement. Yeah, every no big announcement every fucking week with this fucking show. Fuck this guy. Britt Baker versus some bitch named Danielle Carmella, uh, Camella, whatever. Warlow versus The Butcher. Hook versus Tony Nese. Jungle Boy versus Kyle O'Reilly. And Darby Allen versus Andrade in a coffin match or whatever. And, uh, yeah, fucking something. Oh, yeah, Rampage. The only matches I think that's announced is fucking Adam Cole, Gay Gay versus ha Hangman Page in a, in the stupid fucking, uh, what was it, the Texas Death Match. And apparently that match is happening before, um, it's happening before SmackDown, so uh, because they're like some time bullshit. So yeah, okay. Which I I don't know. So let's see let's see if it actually gets the ratings as people say that they want. You know, or like if it's a bad time. Let's see if they actually get better ratings this time, huh? We'll see. 
And the main event was for the ROH TV Championship, even though... Uh, I don't know. Listen. This company killed fucking ROH. Why you're trying to fucking appease the ROH? Like, why, like uh, there's a reason why ROH died. It's because for fuck's sakes, you fucking killed the business because that's what was the smarky fan base. But now you're 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 the big smart. You're gonna keep on living off it. Like what the fuck? Like what's since I don't fucking know. But again, this is just make Tony Khan look like a hero to these fucking smarks, you know. Samoa Joe defeats Maroa Suzuki to become the T new TV champion of ROH. And after the match, Jay Lethal and Sanjay Dutt uh, revealed they, their gift for Joe is the debuting Santam Singh. So, like, they kind of middle finger and, and, oh, Blackout, oh, is it under, like, my friend's like, oh, is this, like, some Undertaker wrestler? And then, like, we, and then, like, oh, it's, it's good. And I, I, I already knew it was going to be something dumb. And I, I didn't know it would be just this dumb. Like, it's like, no one fucking knows who the fuck this guy is. And he's, like, this big fucking great Kali motherfucker. Or Great Giant Gonzalez, motherfucker. And, like, no one fucking knows or cares. Like, he is tall. Like, compared to everybody, he's taller than fucking Sanjay Dutt and Jay Lethal. Like, fuck, but who the fuck knows or gives... I understand, like, okay. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, this is how you end the show. This is how you end the show. We're, we're you know, they had a blackout. It's like, oh, is this somebody we know who's going to debut or return in AEW? And it's like, no. It's fucking like, who is this guy? And why all of a sudden he's could black out like The Undertaker? And like, who the fuck cares? And yeah, this match by with Samoa Joe Murso Hazuki. This match is nothing but chops. Gay fucking chops. And stupid gay technical wrestling bullshit for these fucking smarts. And no one fucking cares. And, and you got fucking smarts like this match was so good, man. This match was so good. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, my chest was red watching that match. This match was everything to be expected and then some. So nostalgic to bring back the art. Uh, yeah, this is actually a smart that's saying this. Like, shut the fuck up. Um. Yeah, I, I don't fucking know. This is fucking... This is a terrible ending, okay? This is terrible. I, I don't know how it's, this is. This is this is not cool. This is not exciting. This is just who the fuck is this and who the fuck cares? That's in the entire show. It's not even, like that ending is like wow, so anticlimactic. And it's like wow, I, I'm embarrassed watching this shit. I at least thankfully have a good friend who understands like why I'm doing this. I, he knows I have a YouTube channel, shit like that. But like the thing is, like he's like, wow, this show is terrible. Like, I no wonder people don't like. And you, and you know what's the funny thing is, we were watching SpongeBob right after because we there was nothing on, and we just turned on SpongeBob, and it was like an old SpongeBob episode. There's literally more or SpongeBob episodes that are more hardcore than wrestling nowadays. And he said facts. Is that fucking sad? That uh, oh, but but uh, AEW do dog tax, tax to that match and like whatever. Yeah, yeah, with fucking no name stars, with people don't give a fuck, with no characters or stories. At least with SpongeBob, you know the character, you actually get what what is they're about, and they're ex it's like actually exciting for fuck's sakes. I'm I'm sorry, SpongeBob ex episodes are more exciting than fucking gay W and even modern WWE. What does that fucking tell you? I'm just keeping it real. Get your game straight. Close my news. It's me some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. But I'm telling you, this show make, won't get you some chicks to make them go, oh shit, oh shit. Because this shit is terrible. Boring as fuck. Alright, that's all I'm going to say, people. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye.